follow us on facebook and instagram and do subscribe our youtube and telegram channels now let's start our discussion welcome to english lecture notes today's topic is impressionism the impressionist style of painting developed in the late 1870s in france the artists sought to represent objects in their atmospheric way enveloped with light and air it was not paint local colors but the effects of light under which everything momentarily changes color they were an intellectual and social group of painters whose members sought to bring about a radical power shift in the world of art impressionism was a 19th century art movement originated in the field of painting it was reaction to the academic style of that day the name of the movement is derived from the title of a claude monet work impression sunrise the desire to present light with frank objectivity led certain early 20th century writers to question the validity of long except narration literature tries to adapt new techniques of painting to writing it was the time in which people broke from the traditional standards or styles they wanted to bring new ways of expressing their ideas it was influenced by the impressionist art movement writers borrowed the term from painters who revolted against conventional belief about art it is a highly personal manner of writing a few selected details suffice to convey the sensory impressions of an incident or scene impressionistic literature is closely related to symbolism the style of work which the impressionist produced changed the way a lot of people approached art the ambition of impressionist was depicting the world not only as it was seen and known but also as it was felt and experienced they stressed subjectivity rejecting old traditional emphasis upon order thought and clearness a break with sequential developmental cause and effect presentation of reality of realist fiction presentation of experience as layered elusive discontinuous juxtaposition motif symbol focuses on mental life of characters their impressions and emotions less focus on concrete interpretation a key aim of impressionistic literature is to convey through small details and impressions something of a bigger scene or idea what felt a character in a single moment they focused on transient effect of light and color sensory impressions of an incident or scene shows emotions and feelings through vagueness color light mood appeal to the senses interaction between human consciousness and the object of that consciousness critics argue that joseph conrad james joyce stephen crane virginia woolf and others could all be considered to have impressionistic ideas in their writing Stephen Crane was an American novelist, short story writer, poet and journalist, prolific throughout his short life. He wrote notable works in the realist tradition as well as early examples of American naturalism and impressionism. He is recognized by modern critics as one of the most innovative writers of his generation. The Red Badge of Courage is a work written by Stephen Crane in which he used impressionist style of writing. The Red Badge of Courage is a war novel by American author Stephen Crane, taking place during the American Civil War. The story is about a young private of the Union Army, Henry Fleming, who flees from the field of battle, overcome with shame. He longs for a boon, a red badge of courage, to counteract his cowardice. The novel is known for its distinctive style, the repeated use of color imagery, and ironic tone. separating itself from a traditional war narrative crane's story reflects the inner experience of its protagonist a soldier fleeing from combat rather than the external world around him 
also notable for its use of what Crane called a psychological portrayal of fear. The novel's allegorical and symbolic qualities are often debated by critics. Crane was one of the chief impressionists of his day. In this novel Crane follows impressionism. Through his technique of impressionism Crane tries to give picture of the battlefield, effect of war on nature, characterized his people by giving an impression of loud soldier, a tall soldier, a tattered soldier, concern is the painters for the effect of light on color. In this book landscape and objects change their color as the light changes. A river is amber tinted, green trees and bushes appear blue in the distance. Crane describes on the battlefield as follows, these battalions with their commotions, were woven red and startling into the gentle fabric of softened green crowns. He creates many images, it was now like one of those moving monsters. There was an occasional flash and glimmer of steel, from the backs of all these huge crawling reptiles. They were like two serpents crawling from the cavern of the night. The Open Boat is another work. It is a short story by the same American author Stephen Crane. First published in 1897, it was based on Crane's experience of surviving a shipwreck off the coast of Florida earlier that year while traveling to Cuba to work as a newspaper correspondent. Crane was stranded at sea for 30 hours when his ship, the SS Commodore, sank after hitting a sandbar. He and three other men were forced to navigate their way to shore in a small boat. One of the men, an oiler named Billy Higgins, drowned after the boat overturned. Crane's personal account of the shipwreck and the men's survival, titled Stephen Crane's Own Story, was first published a few days after his rescue. Impressionistic ideas used in Open Boat Crane used impressionistic technique in the story, this technique cantering on the mental life of the chief character, rather than on the reality around him, relies on impressionism to communicate the gulf between reality and what the character perceive as reality. Placing his readers into the same frame of reference as his character, the story's first sentence is, no one knew the color of the sky. Each character lives alone in his own reality. Crane uses imagery throughout the story, to make readers get pulled in, the imagery, that he uses causes the reader to feel like, they are actually part of the crew, going through the same things that the characters are, it causes the reader to feel the hatred toward the universe that the crew feels. Crane's characteristic use of vivid imagery is demonstrated throughout the story, to underscore both the beauty and terror of natural forces. Next, James Augustine Aloysius Joyce was an Irish novelist and poet, considered to be one of the most influential writer. Dubliners is a collection of 15 short stories by James Joyce, first published in 1914. The stories were written when Irish nationalism was at its peak, and a search for a national identity. Araby is one of 15 short stories that together make up James Joyce's collection, Dubliners. Although Joyce wrote the stories between 1904 and 1906, they were not published until 1914. Dubliners paints a portrait of life in Dublin, Ireland, at the turn of the 20th century. Its stories are arranged in an order, reflecting the development of a child into a grown man, Araby is the last story of the first set, and is told from the perspective of a boy just on the verge of adolescence. The story takes its title from a real festival, which came to Dublin in 1894, when Joyce was 12 years old. Impressionistic ideas in Araby Joyce used impressionism in this text, similar to artistic impression, it contains blurred visions and subjectivity. Joyce's use of contrasting colors and innovative use of light, 
are similar to techniques employed by impressionistic painters. He says that, the space of sky above up was the color of ever-changing violet. Writer uses vivid imagery in order to express feeling in situations. The narrator and his young friends, all of whom are nameless except for Mangan, are continually referenced in terms of shadows and description of neighborhood are all dark, uses visual images repeatedly to suggest how the any narrator attempt to achieve the inaccessible. His feeling of solitude, the boy is standing in shadow, while his friends are playing in the light, boy views the girl is surrounded by light, just like Virgin Mary. Impressionism was a powerful development in literature and its legacy is wide-reaching. Impressionism was considered a radical departure from tradition. Looking back, we can see that Impressionism was more than a departure, it changed the very nature of the way people think about literature today. That's all for today, if you find this video informative, please do subscribe our channel and don't forget to click the bell icon, to get the notification of our coming videos, thank you for watching.